Well, hello, and I'm sorry I can't join you today in person for this eighth European Convention on Rare Diseases and Orphan Products. But I wanted, as the UK's First Minister for Life Sciences, to signal my and our support for the work that you're doing and our commitment to help the European uh, movement for progress in both research and treatment for patients with rare diseases. We all know that uh, the rare disease uh, sector goes right to the heart of the issues confronting the life science sector more generally. An increasing uh, genomic uh, basis for drug discovery and the use of big data, uh, increasing role of tissues and patient studies, patient-centered translational medicine right at the heart of the beginning of the discovery process, and a greater role for patients in research as well as in treatment uh, and coming together to uh, work together to support reimbursement uh, and uh, the important role of patients in helping uh, governments put together a proper strategy for rare disease from cradle to grave. And that's why this movement and this collaboration is so important. I see in my travels around Europe the importance of pooling our resources in research but also working together for uh, implementing the uptake of rare disease treatments in our respective healthcare systems. This is an area where Europe is uh, making strides and leading the world through our collaboration. Here in the UK, we've done our bit. We've launched a rare disease strategy. We continue to putting a billion pounds into our National Institute for Health Research clinical infrastructure uh, at the heart of the NHS. We've put another quarter of a billion pounds into our groundbreaking 100K genome program, sequencing the full genome and combining it with phenotypic data from 100,000 NHS uh, patient genomes uh, with rare diseases and cancer as the initial focus. Uh, and we are, uh, through the NHS, pursuing our rare diseases strategy and through specialist commissioning, uh, making sure we're updating our systems to listen to what patients are, are, are telling us. The patient voice goes right to the heart of this agenda, both in research on consent for tissues and data and volunteering on genome studies and in, in making representations through our health systems on appropriate care pathways. So uh, we need to put the patients right at the heart of this agenda, which I know has been a big part of your work and focus today. Uh, I look forward to working with you in the months and years ahead. And in case there's any doubt, that's why I and this government are campaigning for us to remain in the European Union so that we can help uh, play our part in making sure that Europe leads in rare diseases in the 21st century and that we have an appropriate regulatory environment for the use of genomics and data and the clinical trials that we need to do. Thank you for your work and I look forward to working with you.